What is up, you YouTubers? It is me, Henry, coming to you today with a new deck that I just finished today, Gadgets. Uh, I've been testing it, though, on DN, and I really liked my build. It is different from the Chain Summoning build, even though I took a lot off from the Chain Summoning build of Gadgets. So, uh, let me get right into it. I really like this deck, and I'm having a lot of fun with it. So, to start off, I am running three of each gadget. So three red, three yellow, and three green. Red searches yellow, yellow searches green, green searches red. Now, I know, of course, that a lot of people only run two gadgets in a standard gadget, two of each gadget in a standard gadget deck. But this is not a standard gadget deck. This is more based off of the chain summoning build, but also my own build. So it's running off of three gadgets because you do go through your gadgets a lot. And I plus, I always get the feeling that I'm going to eventually run out of my gadgets if I'm not running three. So I just put the nine instead of the six gadgets in. Green is the strongest in attack, red is second, and then yellow is the weakest. Now, continuing on, I run three ten goldfish. I apologize for only having two supers. I couldn't find my third super, so I just put in a starfoil. Three ten goldfishes are what really help you because you summon a tin goldfish, special summon a gadget, and you get the gadget search. And this is great because tin goldfish is a machine, so it helps you pull out Gig and X. And this is the only level 4 machine that summons other level 4 monsters. And it's also good because you can sit on it, uh, but primarily you use it just because it special summons. Must be run at 3 though just because it's 10 goldfish and it speeds the deck up so much must be run at 3 next 3 Kagato Kages because this is your chain link 2 you summon a gadget and then you special summon this this is chain link 1 this is chain link 2 and also because it's what you search out with your king of the feral or it's what you it's what you overlay for for your king of the feral imps which pulls out another one, so you just keep going off and going off. So it must be run at 3 because it speeds up the deck just like 10 goldfish. Those are cards must be run at 3. I'm running 2 Makina Gear Frame to search out 2 Makina Fortresses. Makina Fortress is good because it gives you a monster in your main deck that's a good 2500 beat stick, plus its effect is very, very good. I'm not running any other monsters other than the ones I've shown you because I, like I said, it is based a lot off of chain summoning gadgets, but unlike chain summoning gadgets, I do not run the Trigodia. Two Trigodias, excuse me. But it's still good. That's it for monsters. On the spells, I'm only running nine spells. I'm running three double summons, primarily because I do not have chain summoning, so this is the major difference in my deck, is instead of chain summoning, running double summons, but if you have three chain summonings, I do recommend the chain summonings. I am running one rank up Baryon's Force, primarily for a monster in the extra deck, which I will show you later on. This is a really fun tech choice of mine. I've been liking it a lot, and I'm going to keep it. I, I really like it. I'm running two Pot of Dualities. I, these are my 39th and 40th cards. They allow you to dig three cards into the deck and grab a monster if you need it or spell or trap. And that's just it's just great. Three MSTs for back row, primarily because you do not want back row. Back row is hurtful. And that's it. All nine spells. Next, I'm running two Fiendish Chain. Uh, you can bump it up to three, but I didn't have space for two. You could cut the Baryon's Force if you don't want to run it for three. Um, but I like the Baryon's Force, so I'm running two Phoenix Chain and a Baryon's Force. I'm running one Call instead of Soul Charge, because I don't want to lose the life points, and you don't need to run Soul Charge in this deck. I'm running one Trap Stun to negate traps, so when you make... Bigger, bigger pushes with your Xyz monsters for attacks. They won't die. Two traps done. I know, one's a hollow, one's not. 
I couldn't find another hollow. That's two mirror forces and the ten gold fishes that I could find hollows for. But sadly, I know. But two mirror forces and two dimensional prisons for your battle traps. These battle traps help keep you alive. Yes, they, there are floaters now that will get effects off of the mirror forces, but that's where you just side in DD Crow, really. And then two dimensional prisons because to stop the floaters, really. Next, I'm running one uh, Black Horn of Heaven. Great, great card. Has saved me so many times. I recommend getting this card and putting it in almost every deck just because so many decks revolve around Xyzes and Synchros now. So this card is on fire. You can and what you normally do against Shadals though is side this out because they get summoned off of a spell and not by inherent summons. Next the staples, one solemn, one bottomless, and one trental. I am not running compulse, I am running Blackhorn instead of the Compulse. Just because I like Blackhorn better. So that's it for the main deck. On to the extra deck. I am not showing a side deck. Primarily because I want to leave it up to your imagination. Two Giganexes Giga don't need three. Two is just fine. You never really pull out more than two. So two works just right. One, King of the Feral Pimps. Adds the Kage to your hand. And it's a nice 23 swinger. One Eschaton to Nuke Field. Uh, regain your advantage. Because you can go Excaton, Nuke, uh, and then your opponent is probably not going to be able to come back, but you can because your gadgets search, so you can always build up a hand using your gadgets. 1-101 one, one, oh, one, because a lot of deck special summon, so you, you can take them. 1 Castell to bounce back. I was running Maystroke, but I cut the Maystroke and decided for Castell instead. One Diamond Dyer, because it's Diamond Dyer, you can destroy things with it, like back row, essentially. One Pappy for Shadals. Yes, they get their flip effects, but you inflict more damage. And it also works well against many other decks that decide to set a lot of cards. So they have a card set, and you summon Pappy, that set card gets flipped, they lose 600, and you just are able to inflict more damage. One Steel Swarm. Uh, quill forts are big, so I want to try and stop them. Plus, it works with, against the Shadals because of their fusions and just uh, uh, safety precautions. You don't have to run this. You could take this out for something else, but I wanted to run it. I'm running one Digusta Emerald to recycle monsters because you will use monsters a lot. You will go through them quickly in this deck. One Gaga Cowboy for burn. And now, these last four cards in my extra deck are complete, complete tech choices. You do not have to run them, but I have been having fun running them, so I'm putting them in this deck profile. One Burner Visor. It allows your, your monsters to attack directly, and when you do, you can discard one card and inflict 500 more damage. Now, a lot of you might be saying, oh, well, why don't you just run Rhapsody and Berserk? I mean, they both equip... And this one, Rhapsody and Berserker, allows your monster to gain 1,200 instead of just being able to attack directly. But I chose Burner Visor because my monster can attack directly, and you can discard to inflict 500 because it unclogs your cloggy hands when you get too many gadgets. This is also a bonus, though, because you can banish two cards. So, really, it's a debate between these two. I prefer Burner Visor just because you can attack directly. I sometimes will have this on my side deck, though, and just swap the two out. Next, I have, this is the, based off of my Burner Visor, or not my Burner Visor, excuse me. This is based off of my uh, Barian's Tech spell. I am running one Utopia, one Utopia Ray, and one Utopia Ray V. These three, oh, sorry, those are my dogs. I'm filming this in a different spot because I wanted to, and just to test the lighting. So I am running these because uh, I wanted to have Ray V, because Ray V is very good, plus Utopia 
can stop attacks, so it can save your other monsters. But primarily because of Ray V, because Ray V is amazing. And Ray also helps when you have 1,000 life points or less. Um, these three are complete tech choices. You do not have to run them. I have been testing them, and they have been working great. You could run something else like a Maystroke if you wanted to, but I mean... I've been liking these, and it works well with my Baryon spell, and the deck's just really fun to play. Um, if you want to, you can net deck, you can take a bunch of its ideas. I just love the deck. It's been very, 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 very fun, and I hope you guys will enjoy gadgets as much as I do. I'm out. Peace!